My name's Paul Cross, um, I'm a senior, senior lecturer at Bangor University and we've been carrying out research recently on how we can make the British bee a more robust individual and capable to deal with the threats that hang over it at the moment. As you may have heard that there's a lot of problems with um, disease and phenomena such as colony collapse disorder. What we've been trying to do is to develop a way that amateur beekeepers can get queens to mate in the wild and ensure that many of the genes that those queens bring back from the mating events have a predominance of British bee genes in them. The reason British beekeepers have decided to import queens from uh, Spain and Italy and other parts of Europe is that these bees demonstrate characteristics which are very amenable to beekeeping. Uh, they're very passive to handle um, and whilst they produce less than the, the British bee, or uh, that's the perception anyway, um, beekeepers are very keen to have these gentle bees. They can come in, handle them, they don't get stung very much. But as you may guess, the problem with doing this is that the following year, when those Spanish or Italian bees go out to mate with the local population, they don't come back with the characteristics of a highly industrious but docile uh, bee. They come back with bees that are aggressive and uh, lazy. Um, so the two worst characteristics you could possibly combine. So we've been looking at ways that we can get local beekeepers um, to control who the queens are who their queens are mate with, and ideally get those queens to mate with uh, British bees. So what you've got here is a honeybee that has got a sort of orange band at the top of its um, thorax. Now that indicates that there is some um, crossbreeding or interbreeding between the um, imported strains of honeybee and the British black bee. So as you can see, this one is much more orange than any of these over here. By characterising uh, the bee wings of over 60 hives in a small area of North Wales, we were able to determine um, which areas would have high levels of British bee characteristics and which areas would be poor and have low levels of British bee characteristics. So as you can see from the map, those areas that are highlighted in red or red colour um, are areas where we think it would be really a good idea for the beekeeping association in that area to release virgin queen bees uh, because the probability of them mating with a bee that has higher British bee characteristics would be increased. <laughs>